Hey y'all, today's gonna be a what's old video and it starts right now. All right guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian also is the Beard Thrift Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. This video is gonna be 20 wood sold for me on eBay in the last five or six days. So what we're gonna do is try to tell you exactly how much I paid for the item and roughly the amount of time it took to sell on eBay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on the first one. This one is gonna be a tailor-made rack OS single six iron, so it's a golf club. And it has a T-step ultra light 90 gram steel regular flex shaft. All that is written on the shaft. And because I wouldn't know if that was not written on the shaft. And it went for $14 and the buyer did pay shipping. I had probably a dollar into that when I bought it. This was out of a huge bulk buy I did almost a year and a half ago at a uh, golf uh, store that was going out of business. I'll tell you what, golf club hustling around here is super competitive now. I'd have never been able to get those for that price now. But I still have a, a couple left. They've been selling for a year and a half. But uh, like I said, it took a really long time to sell that one for $14. A lot sold right off the bat, but it only had a dollar into it, so not too bad on that one. This one, the Vera Bradleys, if you've been watching the channel, you know I picked up a whole bunch of Vera Bradley stuff. Already in the profit. This one took about two months to sell. This is a Vera Bradley hanging garment bag. Went for $65 in the buyer to pay shipping. When I bought all that stuff, I think I was about $4 into each piece, uh, but not too bad there on Vera Bradley. I still have a whole bunch left, which is good because I'm in the profit just they sell periodically. I listed them on uh, Macari also. I haven't sold any on Macari. I thought they would actually do better on Macari than eBay. That wasn't so true. Department 56, if you have watched the channel also, you saw me pick up a huge lot of Department 56. I'm going to be showing a good bit that's been selling just so when you're out there and you see a Department 56, you can kind of guesstimate how much it's going to go for. All these are also in really good condition. No flaws on them whatsoever. And they came with the original packaging and styrofoam, which is kind of important. So this one right here, this is the Heritage Village Department 56. And this was a little elf trimming a tree. Went for $11. The buyer did pay shipping. I got it for $2. And it only took a couple days to sell. This one is a Heritage Snow Village uh, collection. This is a Town Square Gazebo, Department 56. And it went for $10. And the buyer did pay shipping. And the buyer was a viewer. So thank you, Jason, for purchasing this. It really went well with your village. So I do appreciate it. And uh, these right here, if you didn't know, right there it says 5513-1. On all Department 56, there's like a serial number. So all you have to do are a part number, type that in, and then look it up on eBay, and the comps are super easy to find out. This Mizuno T-Zoid MX11 Dynamic Gold R300 Regular Flex Shaft. It go for $22, and the buyer did pay shipping. International sale here. Had the Mizuno T-Zoid MX11s for like a year now. They're just really slow movers. Picked it up for $3 at a uh, Goodwill. This cigar box. I will tell you, I don't really sell a lot of cigar boxes. I usually get them and they don't sell for anything. This one I picked up with a whole bunch of Zippos in it for $10. Like this plus the Zippos was $10. So I have very little into this. And this sold for $8 plus shipping and it sold within a week. So very excited about that sale. This is Ben Hogan H40. This is a pitching and sand wedge set. Apex 4s, which is important. That's on the shaft. A lot of the Ben Hogan if it has the Apex 4 shaft, which I think is their stiff shaft does sell a lot faster than Apex 3, for me anyway, that I've kind of learned. And that's on the shaft itself. And that went for $29, the buyer did pay shipping, and they have been sitting around for a little bit, probably about a month or two, and I had $6 into those. All right, another Department 56, Heritage Village. This was some Christmas Caroler Spirit, four pieces, all in really good condition here, and they went for $12 plus shipping, again, $2 into that. This 1988 Marvel, the Amazing Spider-Man one-sided rolled poster a while back when I first got started. Uh, I was in contact with somebody and they sold me a ton of posters for 33 cents, including the poster tube, which was super important because I didn't realize how much poster tubes cost. And this is one of the last ones that I actually have left. And this was sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Did take a really long time to sell, but that was a really good deal for, you can't beat that. A poster plus the tube for 33 cents was a good deal. The Vintage Uncle Henry US 834 UH Pocket Knife. Excellent use condition here. This one did not come with the box. Had it, got it for $3 at a uh, yard sale only about a couple weeks ago now, maybe a month. Uh, Kayla actually found a whole bunch of these and they have been selling really good. I only have two left. This one went for $45 plus shipping. Easy to list, easy to 
uh, store, easy to ship. I just loved them. I'm sad to see them all gone because they're such a good deal. The Vintage Metal Files. I picked these up at a yard sale about a week ago. I picked up a ton of them for about 30 bucks. And this is just one lot. Put it up on bid, had 13 bids. I think I started around 30 bucks. Went all the way up to $68 plus shipping. Really good sale there. So this was almost, I think on that entire yard sale, I spent like 150. So that was almost like half of the yard sale money. So that was good. The, oh, I also do 10 day auctions instead of seven day auctions. And I just like those three extra days. So maybe more people can see it and uh, bid on it. So that's what I do. This one right here, Echo Hydromax Golf Shoes. Picked these up when Cat the Nurse Flipper was down here in Myrtle Beach to uh, see me and thrift with me, which was a really good time. Picked these up at a Goodwill for $7, at size 46, and they did go for $39 plus shipping. Uh, the Echo Hydromax or any type of golf shoe that I find usually sells pretty fast for me, so that might be a little bolo there. The Adams Golf Tight Lies GT Left Handed. Uh, iron this was a graphite tip so it actually has a steel shaft that comes to a graphite shaft at the very tip of it this was an international sale got it for three dollars at the goodwill went for fifteen dollars the buyer did pay shipping but took about nine months to sell all right the vintage padlocks and master lock keys master set so this is just a whole bunch of old master locks and a couple other ones and just random keys and i made sure i put that in the description that i don't know if these keys go to these locks or anything I picked this up at the same yard sale as the files. So really, I was only, I think, $10 into this. Put it up on auction for $55. Bucks, got one bid because I thought that was a good price. $55 plus shipping, 10 days to sell. Pretty good for some old locks. All right, so this one right here is going to be a vintage Craftsman crown logo emblem. So this is just the emblem that goes on the box. I bought a box that was super rusted. I popped the emblem off and it is a crown logo just the way that looks right there. $15 free shipping, took about two weeks to sell. So when you're buying boxes and they have good logos, especially old vintage Snap-on logos, go for more than that. So don't discard an old rusty Snap-on box or Craftsman box if it's got a good logo on it. All right, so this one right here, Vintage Files, lot of 21. These were rounded, three-sided. They had different names on them. Went for $21. The buyer did pay shipping on this. Not too bad there. This can be all in the profit. Took 10 days to sell. Three fourth stripe impact sockets metric free shipping here 35 millimeter okay so this only went for 19 dollars and it went free shipping in a padded flat rate so you only make about 10 bucks on this picked it up for 50 cents took a really long time to sell this is a no name brand impact wrench i mean impact socket so if this was a snap on mac even a craftsman it's definitely if it's a snap on this thing would have been worth 40 to 50 bucks just because it's a uh three quarter inch drive that's a huge drive and 35 millimeter that's a big socket this thing probably weighed about a pound to a pound and a half just to give you some you know information on how big this socket was but a no-name socket still sells for 19 dollars free shipping but you got to pick them up for cheap so if you see a whole bunch of impact sockets that aren't name brand but they're big sockets big drives you can usually get 20 bucks for them uh, they do take a long time to sell had this for about probably eight to nine months if this was a snap on mac or any other type of name name brand would went super fast uh, but just something to look out for just know if it's not name brand they still do sell take a lot longer and for a lot less money department 56 have a seat elves there are six of them there were little elves that you could like put on a shelf or something. They had like, they could sit down and they sold super fast. I remember they sold within a day, $2 into it, $18 and the buyer did pay shipping on that one. So that one was really good. Uh, if you did watch the video, I was estimating I would get anywhere between eight to $10 an accessory. So as you can tell, I actually, I underestimated it. Like most of you uh, viewers told me, that I think you're underestimating it, which I usually do, but not too bad there because I went for $18. And here's a Department 56 North Pole Series delivery with the uh, plastic snow accessory. So this one's really cool. It's uh, Santa Claus pushing some delivery stuff. $8 and the buyer did pay shipping. Took about a day to sell and again, two bucks into it. The GE Electric Vintage Base Radio uh, made in Japan. This one I picked up at a yard sale and a whole bunch of other stuff. Now I think I paid, I think it was like $25 or $30 for like tubs of old electronics and it really wasn't that good of a buy. It took me more time 
to go through and figure out that none of it was really worth anything. Picked out the stuff that was worth some money. Made a little bit of a cash on it, but not, not a lot, to be honest with you. It wasn't like a big deal. This was in there. This was probably just getting my money back. So $15 plus shipping. I had no way to actually test this. So that was in the description, not tested. But it was really cool looking. I thought when I was looking in and I saw stuff like this, man, things gotta be worth like 50, 60 bucks. Old school little, you know, whatever that is, a radio base. Not that much money, but uh, not too bad. They're sold within about six months. So sometimes you just got to take those. So not too bad. I do appreciate everybody that watches. Again, that's 20 wits sold for me in about four or five days on eBay. I do these videos so you can go through, find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. So I do appreciate everybody that watches, and you know I will always catch you on the next one.